Hello friends, Chris here, Food FAQs, welcome back. Um, today, we're going to be talking a little bit about avocados, um, how to shop for them, how to choose the right one, as well as how to de-seed them, slice them, as well as cube them. Some simple techniques, but you're going to love it. Stay tuned. These are the avocado you will typically get in North America and for the most part in Europe. Down in the Caribbean, our avocado are a lot bigger. You know, in the Caribbean, we're just big like that. But when shopping for avocados, I'm going to show you a couple things here. This is a green avocado. Obviously, you cannot use this green avocado. It's going to be hard like a rock. The more it ripes, and a trick to ripening these is when you bring it at home, put it in a brown paper bag, put it in a warm place in the kitchen, and they will ripe. Usually what I do, I put it in the same bowl in my kitchen where I store my tomatoes, and believe it or not, they ripe in less than two days. Now, as I said, this is a green avocado. Avocado it is hard like a rock. The more ripe it goes, you're going to start seeing the change in color. You notice it went from that color, and it's going to start going darker until it finally goes to almost uh, a really dark brown or black color. These are pretty much the same type of avocados, it's just that I cheaped out and bought the small ones first and then a deal came up and I got the big ones. Um, you're looking for something with relatively smooth skin, no sort of indentations or um, blemishes on there, nice and shiny um, and firm. Now, if you're buying ripe ones, already ripe, what you're looking for, again, something that has no indentations. When you barely put your finger to it, there shouldn't be any soft spots. Any soft spots would indicate that it was tossed around in the grocery store and it is not good to use. It's going to be black and tarnished on the inside. And what it should do is, when you press gently on the skin, on the surface here, it should give way slightly. That means it's fully ripe. Now, as far as opening them up once they're ripe, what you want to do is, I'm using my paring knife, but you can use any sort of knife you have, and just cut down until you hit the seed. There's a seed on the inside, and just work your way all the way around until you're completely cut through, twist, and there you go. You have that lovely avocado on the inside. Then all you would do, you knock your knife on there, twist and remove the seed. It is that simple to have that beautiful avocado ready for you now. As far as removing the skin of the avocado, you have a couple options here. Old school in the Caribbean, what we would normally do is cut it into segments like so. So we have a nice thin segment. Let's do it one more time. And all you would do then there's a sort of pointy end here. You just peel back, like so, and remove that skin. So there you go, you've got a beautiful piece of avocado. Now, the second option is, now, it can be a little bit dangerous, so remember, you don't want to go through the skin or you will injure yourself. So just be mindful of that, and all you would do is run your paring knife just along the bottom. So it's going to go all the way through, and then it's going to run to the the back of the skin here, like so. Now that we've made all those cuts, you take a tablespoon or a teaspoon, depending on how big your avocado is, and you just run it just on the outside, well, on the inside, directly onto that skin, and then we're left with perfectly sliced avocado. Now if your recipe or if whatever you're cooking calls for diced avocado, after you went down with those with those lines um, vertically, then you would go across horizontally like, like so and what that would do is give you cubed or diced avocado once you scoop it out with the skin. So there you go friends, avocados, nice little 101 on it. Chris here, Food FAQs, if you're interested in the recipe I'm going to do with these avocados, it is a wicked little sort of a salsa salad. Check me over on Caribbean Pot, you're going to love that video. If you guys would like to see 
something covered here on food FAQs. Go one big and one small now. Um, hit me on Twitter. I am available at, at Abzaki, O-B-Z-O-K-E-E. -E. And um, yeah, just tweet me. Down in the description I'll have my, my Twitter handle for you guys. Enjoy the day.